Yo yeah, guys, me Mia, welcome back to welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a pissing related video, I know what a shock. But I have never actually done a I need lip gloss. I'm sorry. Anyways, I have actually never done a piercing Q&A video. My piercing videos do tend to do very well for my channel and I'm very grateful for that and so therefore I get a lot of comments, a lot of questions, a lot of advice on all of those videos which I'm also very grateful for because I love how my viewers can kind of go in the comment section and see advice from people that have had their piercings for, I don't know, a year to 25 years, like literally. It's so cool and I'm very grateful for that. But I've actually filmed Q and A videos, like answering the questions before, but I've always thought they were kind of boring and like I don't know. I just never felt like they were good enough to put up. So so hopefully this goes better. Quick disclaimer: I think this is very important. It's something I used to never give the disclaimer that I am literally 15. I'm nowhere near a piercing professional. I'm literally just sharing my experiences as a literal child with piercings. That's my only intentions. And yeah, I don't know. So I do not mean to sound as if I'm a know-it-all, as if I know exactly what I'm talking about all the time. That is partly why I also don't respond to all of the sort of questions, because if I'm not completely sure with what I'm saying or what I'm talking about, I'd rather other people answer, if that makes sense. I don't, that's kind of all over the place, but yeah. Basically, I don't claim to be a professional. Don't come for me. This is just me sharing my experiences. Some of these questions are quite old, so I've got quite a few to get through. So let's get started. So I think we'll start off with the belly button question. So actually, fun fact, just goes, I actually have not got my belly button piercing in anymore, basically. It was kind of having trouble healing, to say the least. It wasn't infected, um, but it wasn't healing nicely. And sometimes when I'd change it, there, usually I'd be fine, but there were a few times where I'd get quite like nauseous putting it in, like changing it, because it wouldn't like slide through properly. Even though I did wait ages before I started changing it and I wasn't changing it too frequently so I decided you know it's just better to let it heal up and then I'll get it redone whenever once it's healed up and I want to get it redone I quite like having it out for the, at the time being to be honest so so yeah if I want it again though, I'll get it redone and I'll share my experience and stuff once again but yeah so the first question on my belly button piercing videos I don't know which one it was but I got asked, did they numb it for you? So did they numb my belly button area? No, they didn't. I went in completely unnumbed. I put no numbing cream on, no like freezing spray or anything. I know people that have done that and it, you know, they haven't felt it obviously because they were numb, but I just, I didn't do that. Personally, for the pain level, I would, it really depends. My belly button piercing hurt a lot. Um, it hurt more than I thought, although after I got it done it didn't hurt at all, it was literally whilst they were doing it that hurt. After I got it done I literally went straight to a theme park and there was no problems whatsoever. I would not recommend doing that by the way, you're not supposed to do that in case you get like nauseous or like ill, but I did it anyway. I was fine though. So the next question is, oh no that's not a belly button piercing one. I'm not going to do it in sections, I'm just going to kind of tell you the piercing as I go instead of doing all the bellies, all the helix, all the triggers because I just can't organise them, it's very confusing. So the next question is about my... Oh, this was on my Traegus video, so she asked basically if I was planning to get any more ear piercings in the future. Yes, I am planning to get more ear piercings in the future. I've basically had them planned out for literally like since I got my first ear piercing. I know exactly what I want, I have done for the past few years, but some of which I'm not going to... Sorry, this bit of hair is really annoying me. Some of them I'm going to need to wait till I do get out of school though. Even though I get away with all my piercings when I'm not supposed to have them now, which I'm very lucky for. There are some that I just will be taking the piss basically and I can't get away with. I'm not going to tell you what ones because I want it to be like a little surprise but yeah. The next question is where I get my jewellery from. This was also on my Traegers video. Um, so they're talking about my Traegers jewellery which is just a little hoop. I get it done at a piercing shop kind of locally but I'm not going to give it away because I don't want to give away like kind of the area where I live. I do always get questions like, where do you get pierced? Where do you get pierced? But I do not want to risk my safety. That sounds like really dramatic considering I've got like 
I've only got a few viewers, but it's still something I'd rather not I'd rather not share. But yeah. Then someone asked if I'd already changed my Traeger stud to a ring. I did. This was also my changing my Traeger ring video. I did originally get it pierced with a stud, but the front of the like the ball of the stud came off during a PE lesson, so I was kind of forced to change it to uh like it was like a what's it called like a horseshoe sort of thing but like for your tragus but yeah that was like a week after i got it pierced it got knocked off i was like oh. the technique i did i do think i disclaimed that though in the video that technically it wasn't my first time changing it but i don't know someone then asked how long should i wait to change my second illo piercings i got them done in a piercing tattoo place with a needle because like yeah i just need to double check well basically I got told three weeks to first change them but then I've seen a lot of comments saying six to eight weeks people have been told different things. I think just kind of if you know, uh, I just think if you know your ears if you've had piercings before then you kind of you can kind of base it off of like previous experience but I think you want to be safe if you're getting your ears pierced for the first time so I'd kind of just wait as long as as long as you can I guess or like if you know what I mean so for example I didn't change my belly for like a couple months I'm pretty sure um just because I wanted to be really really safe and I had and I hadn't had any other like body piercings before I'd only had ear piercings so yeah I don't know just do whatever feels sensible and do your research so the next comment is what if I change it on the fourth day I believe this is also about earlobe piercings um, I would not recommend doing that personally because from what I've heard that can lead to, you know, potential infection, which obviously you do not want because that looks nasty and it can also be quite painful. And I don't know, I think personally, again, I wouldn't risk it. I just kind of get them pierced, wait out a bit and then kind of take it from that. I don't know. It just, it depends whether you know your body, like whether you've had piercings before. I don't know. So someone else put, but I'm too scared to change them. I don't know why and what to do. Please help. So this was for their earlobe piercings. I think I was really nervous to change my belly button piercing and I've got that video up where I did change it for the first time. The links will be down below. I'm always kind of a bit nervous because I don't want to like mess it up or like not be able to get it back in. But at the end of the day, you're going to need to change it eventually if you want to. Obviously, sometimes you can keep the jewellery in for like ever but if you want to change it you're going to need to do it eventually so i think just do it um have someone there if that makes you feel better although it is good to take your piercings out to like properly clean them so i wouldn't recommend keeping your jewelry in forever someone then asked does an ear piercing hurt standard earlobe piercings i just describe as everyone describes them like a hard pinch that is the only way that i can think of describing it to be honest I, i'd recommend they sting a bit afterwards but then it's like good it's nothing bad you know what i mean so someone then commented i have my first and second earlobe piercings and i'm going to change my seconds tomorrow and i got my belly button pierced a year ago and it healed perfectly after six months and then i left out for 24 hours which i wasn't told i wasn't supposed to do and then it closed up does anyone know how long it would take to heal if i got it re-pierced so i i'll give you kind of my experience of it healing up i think that's that's good when i originally couldn't get it in i just left it out overnight and in the morning again i was still struggling to get it in so i just didn't put it in for me it's probably been um i'm gonna say a month no how long has it been i think coming up to a month and mine's like nearly completely healed like i haven't got the top and bottom holes anymore although i can still feel like if you've got piercings you'll know what i mean when i say like the little like tube like in like it's not a tube but like I don't know how to describe it, but I can still feel on the inside where I got it pierced. It, it hasn't taken me too long to be fair, but I don't know exact dates, so. The next question I got is, just out of curiosity, what was the problem with the piercings you had done at Claire's? So this is obviously on my earlobe piercing videos. I got my ears pierced at first time when I was 11, and I got them done at Claire's. They're just my earlobes, like my first earlobes. And I found that, first off I found out that Claire's employees do not have to be trained to pierce ears which is kind of scary considering they can do like nose piercings, cartilage piercings or like guns and stuff which again out of my personal research I've heard is very very bad. Not dissing anyone who's gotten pierced at Claire's, it's your choice completely, that's just my personal view of it. I don't want to sound like a bitch but like yeah. But I found they never healed correctly and after having them for a while, I think I had them like five weeks which is kind of the standard time if not longer than i've been told to keep 
regular ear load piercings in and it was really sore to change and like they weren't they didn't heal properly and the earrings weren't very good quality and I couldn't get the ear earring in like when I tried to change that only could get one in so then I ended up just letting them heal up and I got them done professionally with a like trained piercer and I definitely noticed the healing process was a lot better I could change them easily the first time like I changed them and I just had an overall better experience personally with a professional piercer and the earrings are a lot better quality and I can still like wear them I think I do think I went into further detail in a video that I did like a year ago on Claire's it's been a while um I'm 15 now so that was like four years ago so I can't give like a very good experience with Claire's so I don't really remember but I'll let that video will be linked down below as well so it's in my Helix Cartilage experience I think which was like a couple years ago so I'm looking kind of rusty dusty but it's, it's whatever and the next question is do you have to take out your Helix and Traeger's piercings out for school I waited until sixth form when I I no longer had to do PE before getting cartilage piercing. I'm not supposed to have more than one standard earlobe piercing in each ear so I'm lucky to get away with it. You see teachers don't seem to mind me having them. I've gotten told very few times. A couple years ago I haven't been told to take them out in ages. I don't get told anymore so yeah. The next question is, I have a helix piercing and belly piercing, is the pain similar to them and how is it would you sleep? Wait, what the f- Oh, okay. So this is regarding a tragus piercing. The person commented that she has a helix and belly button piercing and wanted to compare the pain and they wanted to know how it is sleeping on a tragus piercing when you first get it done. I didn't personally, I've heard a lot of People say how much their tragus hurt and now it was one of the most painful piercings they've got. I didn't feel it, like, at all. Like, it was my least favourite. Least favourite? It's my least painful piercing, even over my earlobe piercing. So, yeah, I don't... And I didn't have a trouble sleeping on it because it's more in, like... I don't know. I guess when I kind of slept on it, it didn't, like, hit it. But I do believe it, like, sung a bit after I got it pierced, but it was nothing bad at all. Another question regarding my triggers piercing is how I put in AirPods or earphones. I don't wear earphones in this ear with this particular jewellery, but I do think the jewellery, it really does depend on the jewellery. But personally, I only have my right earphone or AirPod in. So in the next comment, someone put... She had her nose pierced about 10 months ago and found the tragus pain so much worse, but many people say it was the other way around. She said she wanted her helix doing, but she was too scared. My helix hurt the most out of all my ear piercings. It was, it hurt during the piercing and afterwards. It was like, a, it felt like it was like throbbing. It was very like warm, if you know what I mean, and like irritated for a minute. It doesn't hurt anymore, but even like random times like a year throughout having it, it would hurt a lot. I had like a little bump on the back of it where, um, cause I asked the piercer about it, it was like fighting off any infection. It's not a fun piercing, it's a bitch to have, but I do love it. I still love it, it's still one of my favorite piercings. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think you should be scared. I think just be prepared, if you know what I mean. So then someone commented, what's the pain level compared to the Helix? Because I got my Helix and want the Tragus. So that is again about my Tragus. The Helix definitely hurt, again, a lot more than my Tragus. My Tragus did not hurt, like, at all. So you shouldn't have a problem with that. Another person asked, once again regarding my Tragus, I got so many comments on my Tragus. Would you ever change your Tragus piercing from a stud to a hoop? I did that, yes. Someone comment about piercing that owns something. I don't know what video that's on. Don't do your own piercings. Bit hypocritical of me. Um, I got all these done by professionals, but I used to just kind of poke them in my ear and take them out. And then I pierced my dad's ears once as a joke. That was funny. Because we actually bought a piercing gun, me and my friend. Um, don't do that. And then my friend, like, we did hers. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think earlobes, if you're gonna pierce your own ears, do your earlobes. Don't do cartilage or tragus or belly buttons because they will not end well. They will not end well, but yeah. Someone then asked how I take my butterfly clasp off of my earrings. I kind of just hold the front of the earring and then the butterfly and I just pull them both like outwards. I don't have like a distinct technique. Someone did leave like 
a whole essay on how to do it on one of my videos, but yeah. Okay, so that is all of the piercing questions I'm going to be answering today. Again, not professional, this is my personal research experience, stuff like that. So yeah, if you do have any like questions, please leave them down below or ask like your local piercer or whatever. If I have like an answer, I'll reply to you. If not, I'll, you know, leave your comment there and then other people will hopefully reply to you. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much and yeah i've got some i got i'm getting a new piercing like really really soon um kind of just when i get around to it be on the lookout for that i'm really excited it's one that i've had a few people in my comments say that i should get but yeah thank you guys for watching i love you very much please make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel down below and yeah i'll see you soon with a brand new video bye guys